Amid D.C.'s violent crime wave, U.S. Attorney Matt Graves, the district's prosecutor, has been under fire for a lack of prosecutions. Last fiscal year, only one out of every three D.C. police arrests resulted in a criminal case. Late this afternoon, the prosecutor said prosecution numbers are climbing and explained why to the News 4i team's Ted Oberg, who's live at Superior Court Force. Ted? Yeah, the, Jim, the bottom line is Superior Court is a much busier place, according to Matt Graves this year. Look, he took a ton of criticism last year when it was revealed two out of three D.C. police arrests weren't ending up in prosecutions here because it came at a time when there was so much violent crime here. U.S. Attorney for D.C. Matthew Graves released statistics through the end of September showing the percentage of arrests his team declined to prosecute dropped to 56 percent. It's down from last year's 10-year high of 67 percent. The new numbers move in a direction Graves is more comfortable with and puts them in line with years past, calling last year too much of an outlier. There were absolutely too many cases where we wanted to go forward and couldn't go forward and we worked hard to address that issue. Graves acknowledges the number of arrests his prosecution team declined last year was too high and blamed much of it on D.C.'s shuttered crime lab for a lack of drug testing. Graves says his office isn't choosing not to take cases, but in many instances simply can't due to the lack of a willing victim in low-level cases or insufficient evidence in others. He pushed back on the notion that declining two out of three arrests somehow sends a no-punishment message to potential criminals in the district, pointing out for years his office has prosecuted 90 percent of violent crime cases, a number that stands firm in these latest statistics. We are able to hold more of the people uh, that we want to hold accountable for their criminal conduct accountable because we now have um, the resources that we need to do so. Just a short time ago, Graves told me he never felt any friction between himself and MPD because of the low level of prosecutions, and that may make him unique. He took plenty of criticism from D.C. police leadership, the police union, even up on Capitol Hill. Graves says he's moving forward, and the number of prosecutions has climbed even higher just in the last month. Live downtown, Superior Court, I'm Ted Ober. Ted Ober. Ted, thanks so much.